Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Sea Will Claim Everything. Um, the reason you're getting this is because it's been a long time since I've got to record anything, but finals week is finally over, which means that I'm sane and I have time now, both of which make me very happy. I've already tried to record a bit, I just lost half an hour of footage again, which is uh, pissing me off. But I'm gonna do my best to just get right into this. I have no idea why we're here, so let's ask a turtle. Hi, traveler. Isn't it a wonderful day? Our civilization may be collapsing, but isn't the sunshine wonderful? It really is. I'm guessing this is your name, because it says it at the top. Yes. I'm... I, I'm too lazy to do that voice the whole time. I'm Athanasia. I was born here on the Isle of the Sun a long, long time ago, but I'm still a young... I'm still young for a turtle. I like to take things slowly and enjoy them. I don't like long walks on the beach, no. Uh, what else can I tell you? I love this land, I love the sunshine, I love being a turtle. Good things to love. Uh, you gotta enjoy life or it's pointless. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Stop talking about sunshine. Ah, uh, because it's favored by the sun. On the Isle of the Moon, they long for sunshine but rarely see it. On the Isle of the Stars, they have too much and seek to escape it. Sometimes I wonder whether we haven't accepted too many injustices simply because the sunshine makes us feel good despite our poverty. That's kind of weird. Sunshine usually doesn't do that for me. I mean, look at Greece, right? Aphthonia. I don't know what that is, but tell me about it. It's a beautiful town. And it's going straight to hell in a handbasket. Uh, th enough history to impress a turtle, and it's falling apart because we're letting our idiot leader sell everything we have to Lord Urizen. Mm. Excuse me while I adjust myself. I don't have uh, the same desk that I'm used to, so I'm incredibly uncomfortable. Antigone, has she killed herself yet? The Antigone is, without question, the best tavern in all of Aphthonia. My mistake, it's a tavern, not a, not a uh, tragic character in a play. The owners are very kind, and they don't marry their mothers. And the food is delicious. Tomato salad alone, that does sound good. Oracle. Very useful. Glorious leader, Mayor Kranian. Claims that his policy of austerity, austerity, and austerity except for himself and Lord Urzin, is the will of the Oracle and the only path to our salvation. So either he's an idiot or the Oracle is an idiot, and I haven't decided which. Who is Nuelis? Well, if you leave the city, could you do me a favor? My cousin Nuelis. He's a bit of an idiot. He's fled because he's scared. Will you check if he's killed him yourself yet? I have an idea as to where he may have gone. Great. Timber Tyrant, can you tell me anything about that? He was another one of those idiots who think they can conquer the world because they're better and smarter than everyone else. That's a good reason to think you can conquer the world, though. Nyam, have you seen her? No. Goodbye. And... What? Antigon. That, that's really weird. Like, the G is Russian, but the N's are Latin, and that's an H. If you wanted it to be kind of Russian, it should be a backwards N. I'm just confused. A dog! What? Calispera Traveler. I forgot to start my timer. Whoops, you get more time with me. Happy day. Kian, I'm assuming is the proper response, but I'm wrong, it's your name. Um, you're a male dog? I suppose that's fine, I couldn't really tell. He likes good food and good music and stuff. Katarina is your wife. Uh, why should ancient enmities or the opinions of people stop them? I'm guessing she's a cat. So this is your tavern, then. Antigone was the name of her mother. She started this tavernary... Uh, blah, words. 
very nice lady, shockingly talented cook. Never went to school, didn't have any degrees, but could cook better than anyone. Just figuring out how she made the fried zucchini took me almost a year. Oh my god, this food, smell of the day, fresh garlic, I am dying here. I am just the biggest sucker for good food. Man, this is making me happy reading all this. Poverty, that makes me less happy. Situation is enraging. Food prices have gone up so much that we've forced to turn to... Forced and turn to ride right. The words. I'll get it right. Trust me. We are forced in turn to rise our prices, and people have so little money that they can't afford a simple tavern meal anymore. I don't know how much longer we can keep going this way. Who's the oracle? Mayor Crydian claims his actions are being guided by the oracle. Maybe they are, but they're not working. Everything is getting more expensive, unemployment is rising. In summary, we're America. I may not be mayor. But I don't see how ruining one's customers is good for business. How can we recover if we're all living in a ditch by the time they're finished? Timber Tyrant, do you have any news about that? I've heard a legend. Why don't you ask Stavros about it? He knows a lot about history. Who the fuck is Stavros? Hot peppers, ooh. I've got far too many hot peppers. Just take some and don't worry about pig. You were just saying that food prices were through the roof. Mmm, water. Why are you giving me free- I won't complain, whatever. Do you need dog food? You mean for a metaphysical quadruped dog, right? Why are they metaphysical? Most other dogs are easy to feed. <laughs> he eats everything. Uh, he'll write a recipe, I guess. Oh, I'm getting it for the shadow puppy, right? Yes. Hair of the dog. I guess I need that. I fear what you're looking for is the hair of a quadruped. The hair of bipedal dogs does not have the same properties, or I would consider selling it to keep the tavern going. Interesting. I got the recipe. And hot peppers. Who are you? Night. No, you. Aspen. She's not from around here. Actually, from another world, much like us. Though she doesn't have a window. Uh, came here as an experiment in transdimensional travel. And it's taken a bit longer to get back than she expected. Uh, but she likes it here, that's nice. What do you think of Kion, the dog? He's the best. Um. Okay. <laughs> I am getting strange texts from my friends. Wonderful. Let's move that to a point where the uh, microphone won't pick it up. He and his wife have been taking care of her, feeding her, showing her around, good people. Food! It's great. Yeah, I mean, it sounds wonderful, but I wouldn't know. Smell of the day, transdimensional protoparticles. Just what I love in the morning with my coffee. Yeah bit of a dry mouth, sorry about that. Aftonia, tell me about the town. It's beautiful. All the little steps and balconies and plateaus and amazing view. And she thinks she needed a vacation. Timber Tyrant, you're not from down here. You don't know much, do you? No, you've never heard of that. Have a nice day. I'm going over here. And a cat, I was right. Kalispera, I really need to like figure out what that means, because it's an old day, Bozo. That is. Antigone, your mother, who spelt her name wrong. Food was so good that everyone came here. We're trying to live up to the name. Uh, no one can afford to come here just for food. Crisis. It, uh, it's been very hard for a lot of people around here. I worry about the people who've lost their home. Uh, they're all fine now, but when the winter comes, that would be bad. Drinks! Traditional drinks. Oh, Ozo is a uh, traditional drink. As is Retsina, Tsipaoro, and whatever you want, <laughs> I guess. Special flavors like Oranic Ozo, or Realistic Retsina. Retsina, I don't know. Only serve them with or after food, though. I know that in some places people just drink in order to get drunk, but on the Isle of the Sun, that thing is considered to be very crude. 
and this is one tradition I agree with. Drinking should be about joy, not about drowning one's sorrow. Very, very true. I appreciate that sentiment. Fantastic feta. Ooh. Free cheese. I don't mind. Uh, not much of it left around here since the feta makers were fired and production was moved to the mainland, but she believes in hospitality. And... thank you. Highly prized by alchemists, I'll probably end up selling it. Hospitality is the most important value, my mother always told me. Without it, we are barbarians or predators who turn on one another. Hot peppers, yes, I already stole some. Isle of the Stars. What about it? I've been there, I always wanted to go there, see the desert, maybe buy one of those magnificent carpets they make there. Maybe once the situation gets a little better. Katrina, that's you. Kion, that's your husband. Some people thought we made a strange pair. They were idiots. That's incredibly blunt, and I like it. I got free cheese. What the hell is this instrument? An Aftonian short-necked... Bozoki. Great. Mushroom. Nope. Just a salt shaker. My bad. Just walk out the door. So many places to go. Uh, I think we'd be best off checking our to-do list. Find Niam on this island. Okay. To-do. What's over here? Faucet. Hills of Helios. Map. Uh, what do I know about cliffs? Cliffs! Let's go there. Another turtle. Nolus seems to be fine. Are you Nolus? It's not safe in Aftoni anymore. Mayor Kranian said we're all in danger of anarchy. I'm scared. Athanasia. She's crazy. Her head is full of radical ideas. She doesn't understand how quickly civilization can fall apart. Soon we'll all be at each other's throats. The streets burning, children being sacrificed to dark anarchist gods. That's not quite how political affiliations work. But you're alive, good enough for me. Goodbye. The flowers enjoying the gentle wind. Back we go. <laughs> That's such a great face, though. I will just talk to Nolis, and he's alive. Cool. Uh, that's still my priority. What's this way? Watermelon! I would love a melon. Melons are sweet and refreshing, bringing joy and happiness wherever they're sitting at. I don't think they're quite that good, but they are good. Of all the things you may put in your mouth, are melons not that you're kind of insane? Most pleasing to touch. If you were to rest your face against a fruit, would you not choose a melon? I suppose I would, just because they make they're the right size for a pillow. Not particularly amazing, though. Oracle, tell me about that. He doesn't trust them. Uh, an or once an oracle said there was no one wiser than me. I think that was wrong. Huh? There is a guy who can't take a compliment. Politics. Oh, you're the philosopher, Socrates. Hey, look at that. That's why the tavern is named Antigone, because she killed herself. Um, yeah, philosophy. He went wrong somewhere. He doesn't know where. Did I know too little, but act as if I knew too much? What was the mistake in asserting too strongly that I only knew that I knew nothing? Forget that silly boy Plato. Forget what that silly boy Plato wrote later on for a moment. There was an error in my thinking, a presumption, a logical fallacy. What was it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about enough about what you said. He used to be a philosopher, but now he sells melons. The progress of Greek culture. The house belongs to Mayor Cranion. He'd rent it at high prices when people go homeless. The home of Athena and Maria, and Maria, rather, wonderful couple who were both fired recently. That's wonderful. A melon, melon with feta. That does sound interesting. <laughs> Two very nice big firm melons. I wonder what that's a reference to. Well, let's go this way. A tree door. 
a Silmarian man named called Stelios lives here. The house is empty, its former owner having been kicked out. An orange! Another orange! <laughs> Ideal for rolling under the wheels of a cart so it'll go squish. Even though these oranges grow really well, Mayor Crenyon's latest agreement with Lord Urzens says that oranges will now be imported at high cost from the land of Sweaty Bum. I don't want those oranges. Ugh. Looks this way. This guy. Who are you? Matt. They smell of the day. Testosterone. Tell me about yourself. My name's Matt. It's my job to keep the streets clean and orderly, to stand between civilization and anarchy, protecting the city from danger. What disorder exactly? Everyone's leaving or trying to, they can't afford it. Disorder lurks around every corner. People are foolish and easily frightened, like that turtle. Any one of them could turn into an anarchist, and I have to protect society against itself. They don't appreciate it, of course. Tell me what you think about the Oracle, Matt. Me or Cranion has the support of the Oracle and he's leading us to a better future. It will be an easy road, but some of the weak minded people in the city are going to suffer. But it's their own fault. I feel like I got a word wrong. They should trust in the wisdom of the Oracle. Crisis. What else can you expect? Foreigners everywhere. Our own citizens getting lazy and never working. They're getting fired. Um. Sure. Tell me about the Timber Tyrant. They always say the Timber Tyrant was a bad man, but was he? I don't like you, Matt. He fought for his country and brilliantly defeated his enemies. Never been so great a general before, betrayed by his own people, and murdered on the Isle of the Moon because they were jealous of his greatness. <sighs> no, I think you're just kind of crazy, man. Lizard. Lizard dude soaking up the heat like a boss, you fucking know it. Um, we're running a little low on time, but not too bad. What is this? Mayor's office. Mayor Cranion. Tell me about the crisis, Mayor. Smell of the day, red tea. Wow. The average person on the street is suffering, and I fully understand that and feel for them. Unfortunately, a state must make difficult decisions that may seem strange to the common man, but are completely logical when looked at from the perspective that we look at them. That is why we, why all the actions taken in Aphthonia are based on the advice of the Oracle, an expert in all matters regarding this post-present development of events. We are confident that this partnership will lead our community to a better future, even though sacrifices will be necessary. I need to find this Oracle and just smack him around a bit? Tell me about yourself, Cranion, while I uh, adjust my seating. <coughs> Ugh. I'm just gonna mute the mic for that, hooray. I think of myself as a patriot, but not in the nationalist sense, of course, but as someone who has made, has the best interests of Athonia in mind. Words, wow. Hard choices have to be made, and it will take courage to bring Athonia into the future. I am confident that our actions will lead through the current dry spell to a brighter future. We will work hard and overcome our troubles. I am confident. Stop saying that you're confident. For all legal purposes, these statements are to be taken as being of an inspirational nature. Economic results may vary. You are kind of a dick, man. Future. One of the greatest problems we face on the Isle of the Sun is childish laziness of its people and their lack of what our experts call inventfulness, a concept similar but more complex than inventiveness in that it encompasses a certain cleverness and brilliance rarely found in our people. So you defined a new term that doesn't describe your people specifically so that it doesn't describe your people. Good going. They spend their days idly sitting in the sun or working with their hands or minds when much wait what? Idly sitting in the sun or working when they could be instead be working. Um look at that concept painting behind me. If we transformed our beaches into exclusive resorts, how much money could be earned? Imagine hotels 
housing thousands of tourists from the mainland with little swimming pools so they don't have to walk to the beach with entertainers at every corner. That's the future. That's a sucky fucking future. I am gonna stab this oracle in the dick. Wow. I picked up my microphone for that because I'm kind of uncomfortable and this doesn't need uh, any non-mouse input at all. So, hooray. I have no idea how this is going to sound. Pretentious flowers. These flowers have been brainwashed, which is impressive given that they don't actually have brains. That's true. That is impressive. The flowers are pretty but kind of shallow. Uh, last option here. Lamp oil is too expensive, so they use candles. Home of a sentient glass called Charis. Charis? I don't know. Hey, whoa, tree person. You all recognize this guy. Stavros. Smell of the day, olives. I approve. I am Stavros, a dendric philosopher. I was grown and raised here on the Isle of the Sun, and that is where I spend my time trying to understand what little I can. To find as much enlightenment as we may be granted in this or any other world. What are your thoughts on democracy, Stavros? Many question the value of democracy in times like these, dreaming instead of great leaders to relieve us of our burdens. It may be granted that our situation is partially of our own making, having elected those who brought us here, though that is a dangerous simplification. However, history teaches us a simple lesson as regards leaders. A great leader may be great today, but their greatness may not last forever. They may grow corrupt or be replaced by others. A bad leader, once in power, is hard to remove and may poison the spirit of the land for many years, much like its Lord Urizen. An elected government, however, no matter how foolish, may still be altered by democratic means. Democracy may correct itself. That is our only hope. I'm getting a strong sense of a uh, simile here, metaphor, between all of this and kind of the world. Violence. I have spent much, much thought on the subject of violence. In the beginning, I believed that the only wisdom lay in rejecting all violence. That's kind of where I went too. It's easy to come to this conclusion. All that's required is a little history. For a long time, I was very certain of this position, the use of violence to base both the victim and perpetrator. But lately, I have begun to have doubts. While violence should not be allowed to the state, should not be sanctioned by law, does this mean all violence is wrong? How may an oppressed people defend themselves when dialogue is not an option? When the oppressor will use violence without remorse, is it not justified to strike back? And this is the part where, since I only have a minute left, I just kind of wander off into a rant. My conclusion is that violence is absolutely and totally unjustified except as self-defense, in which case it should be as lethal as possible. Because really, if you're in a fight, and you're not trying to at least cripple them and get the police there as fast as possible, you're gonna get yourself unnecessarily hurt. And I feel like you'd be entirely justified in hurting them, since they tried to hurt you first. If you agree with me, say so in the comments. If you don't, say so in the comments. If you've got an opinion you want me to hear, I would love to hear it. So yeah, leave a comment. I feel really lonely. None of you are talking to me. Ugh, I'm so sad. And my timer's going off. Oh, God, shut up. Yeah, okay, timer's finished. Great. And that's all of it for now. When we come back, we'll ask Stavros about the sea. Hooray. And I'm actually going to have to break it here because I need to check on the recording and make sure it didn't crash again. So, meet you all next time on The Sea Will Claim Everything.